Hey everybody, this is Aaron Corbett here from The Cool Story Show, joined by Diamond David Meyer. Hey, hey. And we are resurrecting our old show from YouTube, Quickies. I feel like we had to resurrect it, though, for this recent topic that we just have, developed. We haven't done one in so long. So long. I love Quickies. You guys should love Quickies, too, because we're going to be talking about, holy shit, Spider-Man is coming to the Marvel Universe. Yeah! Spidey's coming home. Ah! Ah! Hell fucking yes. This is the deal that's been worked on for weeks and that we've been excitedly... <laughs> Are you done yet? I'm done. Okay. That we've been anxiously awaiting to see if this deal would happen and it finally went through. Um, according to uh, marvel.com slash news, uh, what apparently it hap- is happening is Sony is basically lending the character to Marvel for... Uh, a couple of cinematic films in the MCU. And then therefore Sony will release its next installment of the Spider-Man franchise uh, that will be co-produced by Kevin Feige. And How do you say that name? Kevin Feige, I think. Feige? I believe that's right. Sorry, dude, if we're getting that wrong. Uh, he's going to help co-produce the next pictures from Sony. So it kind of looks like they're actually sharing it. What are your What are your thoughts on this? Okay. My only thought, as soon as I heard this on, my t- on Twitter last night, my first thought, my brain raced to civil war yes. because civil war as cool as it was going to be spoilers we, we recently oh yeah if you haven't read comics just ignore everything we're about to say or turn this off and go read comics and come back and listen we just talked the other day on our main podcast with our other friends from snake oil about how cool civil war could be in uh, cap uh, captain america 3 and we had touched very slightly upon how it sucks how there's no Spider-Man because his whole kind of story arc out of that uh, comic run is going to be gone. Now, it's back. As far as we know, that's going to be back in. And I really hope when they do the movie, they're going to stick with the comic book and they're going to have uh, Peter Parker do the whole reveal of himself and we're going to get that Iron Man style Spider-Man because that that is a huge part for me that's a huge part of civil war that yeah. I hope they don't leave out. And even in the civil war comic, like the biggest part about that was the conflict of Spider-Man revealing who he was to the world to join Tony Stark's side and, right, and right. the massive backlash that that caused him in his personal life and all that. So I really don't think they could have done a civil war without Spider-Man. Um, I'm really excited for this direction that they could take this. And I really hope that they, they actually get some decent, really decent footage and create awesome movies with Spider-Man. Oh, I'm sure that. Well, like, look at Marvel. They don't make they don't make a movie that looks bad ever. They don't make a movie ever that looks visually wrong. And every Spider-Man movie we've had has looked great. Yep. Except number three. Except number three. But let's not talk about that. No. Um, and I think Marvel will take that Spider-Man um, license and property, whatever you want to call it, and and they're going to run with it, and they're going to make something pretty amazing. I'm hoping. Now, they're not going to use Andrew Garfield for this. They're going to use a new Spider-Man, but what I'm hoping that they do Kay, is they I don't... T- hold on. That they don't go back to a younger Spider-Man, and they go with somebody kind of more seasoned and veteran, kind of like uh, they're doing with a new uh, Dawn of Justice movie with Ben Affleck and Batman. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say I didn't like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Did you? He was okay, but you know my feelings on the, the Amazing Spider-Man. Our, I, I just hated it. Our audience doesn't. Sure. Oh, I hate it. Period. So you hate Andrew Garfield. I, I, I hate Andrew Garfield because they made Spider-Man into this lame hipster and Peter, sorry, Peter Parker into this lame hipster, I think. And I think Peter Parker shouldn't be a lame hipster, dude. He should be a nerd. He should be, he should be that guy that is socially awkward, can't get the girl, isn't popular, that's Peter Parker to me. That's that's the Peter Parker I grew up knowing. He's the guy who I think a lot of people could get on the, the side of because he wasn't popular. Andrew Garfield, that guy would... F- he, he fuck, that dude walked in a high school right now today, he would be popular. That's not Peter Parker. Peter Parker's a loser. Another thing too about the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man is I like how the fact that they Sorry made him be like a, like a wisecracking, you know, uh, smart mouth Spider-Man because we were missing that from the Tobey Maguire run, but... I thought Toby McGraw was awesome. I did he was, too. Don't he was get me so wrong. Awkward and weird. But it missed that Spider-Man charm about how he always yapped off his mouth every time they were fighting. So I really hope that they bring that back into these. I think they gave they gave him some some good uh, some good like one liner kind of things. No, no, maybe, but it wasn't as as dominant as that you'd expect the character to be. 
Okay, back on back on to our point. Um, Spider Man coming back to the MCU, coming back for Civil War, but then he's going to be doing. Sorry, what did you say? He's going to be doing a movie Civil War, and then going back over. To and then Sony? going back over to Sony, which Marvel is helping them work with, producing a new series of Spider Man movies. So that could be interesting. So uh, now it's not. It's not really. Yes, it, Sony's kind of retained the creative rights to him, but. They get their own. They get Marvel's input and leadership back on the project. So it's basically the best of both worlds. Essentially, Marvel's directing and doing all the hard work while Sony makes all the money. I don't think it's hard work at this point for Marvel. Well, I don't think it's hard work for Marvel either. But I think we can agree that Marvel's got a much better direction and and mind presence for what they want for their comic book movies than than fucking Sony does. I I completely agree with you. And what I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, really curious to see who they're going to pick for the new Spider-Man. You got any thoughts? Who do you think could play a good Spider-Man? You got the whole world. You got a world of actors out there, Dave. Who do you think? World of actors. And if you want to go with an older Spider-Man? You think, okay. So your thought, you want older, a bit more seasoned. He's going to join the Avengers. Like he's been around uh, kicking shit in New York. I want, I want a, I want a around 30 year old Spider-Man essentially. You got any names? Anybody? Any idea? You got nothing, do you? Don't uh, say Brad Pitt. I wasn't gonna say Brad Pitt. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, who could who could act like a grizzled Peter Parker? I don't I don't see Peter Parker ever as grizzled though. Maybe I, he's always the young. He's how I think of. Shout out to Doctor Who notes here. He is the Matt Smith of superheroes. He's that young, young hero who always has an older mindset, but he's always that youthful young ambitious hopeful he always wants the best for the world and everything and even that if that is to his own detriment that's always what he's going to shoot for that's always what he's going to strive for so i don't see peter parker as an old grizzled superhero like batman becomes in the dark knight and many other superheroes become well, eventually. well no because in civil war the comic peter parker has become a, a developed teacher and when he reveals himself i'll say right now i don't sco- read a lot of marvel comics well, so the, i could be up shit screen the here. school he works for basically fires him because he's spider-man essentially after he reveals himself yeah i'll, I'll lend the comic book to you because it's really amazing i've read it dave you have read it i thought you said that you weren't that big into comics you lent it to me <laughs> God damn it, Dave. <laughs> anyway, we both read Civil War. Dave has a, the worst memory of any person on this planet. Um, loyal audience. What were we talking about? Uh, just drink your Jameson and coffee. Well, uh, I think this probably wraps up our... So <laughs> our final thoughts, I think, on Spider-Man coming back to the MCU, or Oop. coming to the MCU, my final thought anyway, is, oh my God, oh my God, finally fuck you sony you fucked this up now if we could as much as i love the f- job fox has done with x-men if we could get x-men and the word mutant back to the marvel universe and we could have everyone under that nice big golden money umbrella making great movies i think we would all be happy it's or at all least about i money. would be happy it's all about money man i would be jizzing in my pants if that happened if they went to fox and been like i'll give you this billion dollars under this other billion dollars that we had to use mutant they'd take it i would take it I would take it. Okay. Thanks for listening to our Our long overdue quickie that we haven't done forever. This amazing rant. Um, Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, which we're actually now coming out real videos on. Not this Um, one, unfortunately, but we just came out with our first one. It was an up all night with myself, Dave and Andy. Um, On that note of Andy, he's coming out with his own pretty cool video game review segment. So be on the lookout for that if you like video games, because it's pretty fucking awesome. And we're going to be hitting you up with a lot of other very cool video stuff in the future. And as always, check out our main podcast uh, at thecoolstoryshow.com. And for all the other things related to, please check us out, like Aaron said, at thecoolstoryshow.com. I'm Diamond Dave. I'm joined by Least Traveled Aaron. Thank you very much. Check us out on Twitter at uh, Aaron Corbett or a Corbett 48. I don't even know my Twitter. And Dave Meyer seven. Thanks everybody for listening. And Spidey has come home. Peace. So Gam from the Geep and Gam podcast just sort of stumbled into our studio while me and Dave were talking about Spider-Man. So we got him to weigh in with his opinion on the matter. And uh, this is what happened. Enjoy. What is your input on Spider-Man being imported into the MCU? If you haven't heard already. Uh, 
or if he cares. I heard about or it, he and uh, I can't believe it's happening because uh, didn't was it Sony that owned them? It owned Spider Man and was keeping it from Disney from. Yeah. Or who was it? Well, yeah, Sony owns. Well, what had happened is is basically they came to like an agreement where Sony will lend Spider Man to Marvel for uh, a couple of movies. And then Marvel will help Sony in return make a few movies for themselves. Oh wow! Now will it will it be Andrew Garfield that's playing it in the uh, Marvel movies, or are they no, find no, somebody? he's he's gotten the axe. No oh, shit. Yep. So are they are they done making the like series that they're? It it they're sound, it sounds like it. To be honest with you, it sounds like they've completely cut cut Garfield out of the picture, or they might redo it. Well, let's be honest. I mean, I, I thought Andrew Garfield was decent, but those those movies were not that great. No, they weren't. I mean, they were fucking terrible. They were pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, Jane, uh, Sam Raimi, uh, he's pretty uh, pretty superior at uh, making movies. So if they brought if they brought Sam Raimi back and made like you know like they did the first series, it'd be so much better. Yeah, but uh, no, I'm I'm excited, man. I, it's he's but he was always a big part of the uh, the Avengers, so yeah, it'll, I think be, it'll be good. It'll be really really interested to see if they uh, what they do because apparently they're going to bring him back for the uh, Civil War storyline. Which, which is one be is crazy. that? Well, that's that going to be with, um... Captain America three. Yeah, that sounds great, man. I I have no. I, I'm pumped because if they kept going with the Garfield series, I'd probably stop watching them because I didn't like that. I, I really didn't either. I mean, the only reason why I watched uh, huh. Spider-Man 2 was because it was on a free movie on an airplane when I was flying. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Dude, Rhino was the biggest waste I've ever seen. Yes. Rhino sucked, man. Yeah. And they they like... You know, tore apart the whole electro. That was they tried basing the whole movie on that, and it wasn't wasn't happening right, man. Exactly. Yeah, it was. Bullying. Wasn't there another one? Yeah, the goblin thing was a waste. Yeah, the, he shows up last minute. He kicks him off something, and then it's game over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the goblin yeah. was basically like uh like the new like a new Silver Surfer almost. Yeah. Which, if I, I mean, I was the biggest comic book guy, but if I recall, like, the Goblin is like, isn't that Spider Man's, like, biggest villain? Yeah, basically. So, how can they just bring him up last minute and then just end it right there? That was. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have a limited knowledge of uh, comic book stuff, but I can still get pretty frustrated when stuff like that happens. It's, it's such a cool like character and uh just his story's awesome but they've overdone it you know we've seen it a million times so it'd be nice if they like hold back on the backstory thing because we all know the you know peter peter parker's parents get killed and that bullshit but if they hold back on that and just throw him in there (laughs) yeah you know like just throw him in and as is, you know, kind of like hopefully they do with Batman. You know, we don't need another Batman backstory. Just throw them in. Everybody knows it. You know what I don't need? I don't need any superhero origin stories ever again on screen. Because nah. A, I know them. B, even if I don't, I don't care as long as they make a good movie. We don't need an origin story, I don't think. Nah. I, it just it detracts from what could be a better movie. Because I, I don't need to know where... I'd say like 80% of superheroes come from, I know, or I have a pretty good idea by this point of where they've come from, and I don't need an origin story. Yeah, and they waste like over an hour in every movie showing you that origin story when that could be, you know, another story involved with a villain that they can, you know, you know, expand on the villain, you know, backstory or, you know, stuff like that, but... They waste they waste an hour in every movie or an entire movie on an origin story. On yeah. another note, I have just attempted to make whiskey sours for me and Dave. 
Jesus. Yeah, you David. were quite the chemist. Uh, there you go. Recently. Thank you. I used uh, lime and cranberry juice and Jameson to make this whiskey sour. Cheers very carefully over our equipment. How, <laughs> what do you think, Dave? Holy shit. Not bad? That is delicious. Whiskey sour, boy. So, thanks for stopping by and listening, guys. Cool Story Show, out. <laughs>